everybody, I'm Elise Explosion, and man, it's been a hot minute since I've actually uploaded a video, hasn't it? Um, sorry guys, it's, it is just like really entering the busy season at work. And since I am a predominantly field employee, uh, God, I'm pretty sure every day this week I've been at work until at least seven, eight o'clock at night. This is the first day that I haven't been and it's still six. So I'm filming this because I want to get something uploaded. Uh, man, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do some like real, like hardcore sit down and do a filmy film. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, this is, this is kind of like a preview of things to come because I have a giant, stack that you guys can't see, of course, but is a giant stack of things that have arrived in the mail over the past like month. And it's a big box, a lot of boxes. So some of them I've opened because I didn't know what they were. Some of them I haven't, uh, but I'm just going to go through and pick up the things that and just, you know, just look at like a little mail call video stuff that I've, I've gotten and I haven't for fully addressed yet. The first thing uh, is an order of the six of these micro toy box figures. Uh, I'm actually super excited because just looking at the top, there's a Barbie in this one, a My Little Pony in this one, a Power Ranger in this one, Candyland in this one, a Barrel of Monkeys in this one, and a Rocking Horse in this one. There's like one that you see and the rest are all like surprises. So this will be a fun one. I haven't done like a blind box unboxing in a really long time. I'm trying to like, as much as I enjoy them, I'm trying to get away from them because it's effective. Oh, there's a bug on the ceiling. Ew. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that one later. I don't like that. Um, but it's, it's, I don't want to deal with the risk at this point. And as much as I like the blindfold unboxings, um, I haven't found anything that I actively want to do that for. Uh, if I do a blindfold unboxing, I want to be able to at least vaguely identify the figure that I'm I'm pulling out. And most of the ones that I've had been even slightly interested in lately have been either they're all like the same shape with color variations, which does not make for an entertaining unboxing, or I just, I wouldn't be able to identify them based on shape. Like it's, I wouldn't have a familiarity with the, uh, the property. So there's that. The next two packages are from Sticker Mule. Um, and that's fine, I guess. They're not my favorite company in the world, but they have really good sales. And the first thing is a box of Crystal Ball Elise Explosion keychains that I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with. And the next thing is, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a re-up of something that I've had on several, multiple occasions. And this is, yes, this is a package of pink explosion stickers. There, there we go. You can see them without the glare now. I, I love me some pink explosion stickers. They're, they're very good. I, I like using them to cover over uh, Infowars stuff if I see it in public, because F that. Um, ooh, free sticker, yeah. So I've got a bunch of these. I'm, I was debating doing like a, a self-addressed stamped envelope if people would want like, I don't know, stickers and stuff like that. But, cause I do have the PO box. But I don't know, we'll see. We will see. I do not have the time to go to the post office right now. So that's one thing. Uh, this is something that's out of the box and something I will be talking about hopefully soon. It'll be past the moment, but whatever. This is one of the Monster High Cree productions of Laguna. And I wasn't planning on getting her, but I did. So that's fun. Uh, Laguna was one of the only dolls in my collection that I didn't have the signature version of. Um, so now I'm going to be rehoming the Laguna that I had and replacing her in my collection with the signature reproduction version. Very excited. Um, looking forward to more Monster High coming up. 
Uh, let's see, this is packaged from Fan Gamer, and I know I forgot about the one thing I, I remembered the one thing I ordered, but I forgot about the other thing and I just remembered what it is. So let's open this up. Uh, Fan Gamer has a bunch of really cool things, but there was one thing that absolutely caught my attention. Because Okay, I have been watching the drawing buns do a lot of their, the drawing buns and also uh, Graveyard Girl slash, uh, what is she, Banana Peppers? She, they both do a lot of like stationary unboxing, with Japanese stationary for the most part. Um, so that's why I wanted this. And this, oh my God, is double sealed? <sighs> Goodness gracious me. What the heck? Why in the heck? Why in the heck? So, okay. Uh, of course I cut part of the thing that was in here. Why do they do that? Like, I know it's to like protect things, but it is a Homestar Runner Team Girl Squad stationery set. There are uh, little pencils, there's washi tape, there's a little notebook and a set of little post-it notes. And there's stickers in here too. I'm very excited. Uh, two 50 sheet notepads, one clear sticker sheet, two pencils, two washi tape rolls, and one pad of post-it page markers. I I love Homestar Runner. If you guys are not familiar with Homestar Runner, I highly recommend looking into it and acquainting yourself with it. Uh, it is a, a long time source of entertainment for me and it's still funny if you were questioning. Uh, and then the next thing I got is amazing and I'm super amped for it. It is a <laughs> it's a Trogdor shirt. And again, if you know Homestar Runner, you understand why this is amazing, but it's also like up like super metal. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna doctor that up and I'm gonna wear that in an upcoming video. So that is the fan gamer box. All right, next. Okay, so this is something that I ordered from my friend Cassie. She has a shop. Uh, if you remember my small business uh, countdown that I did for Elise Navi Dot a few years ago, I got a really awesome acrylic like coffin case, like a little container from her. And the shop's name is, oh gosh, well, I can't remember. It is. Come on, brain. Let's get galactic. There we go. And I got this adorable set of acrylic, their Death's Head Moth rainbow earrings. I'm excited because I, I have, so as we, you might know, I have stretched ears. So I can't wear traditional post earrings. Uh, but if something has a French hook, then I can wear it through the big hole in my ear. Uh, so I have been, I've been inspired a lot lately by Midge Munster, who is another YouTuber that I've really gotten into and really enjoy her content. Uh, but she has a ton of like super over the top acrylic earrings and I love them. I've always loved that look, uh, but I don't always get a chance to wear ones like that because most of them end up being post. So because these are French hook, I jumped on the opportunity. They're super cute. I like them a lot. Uh, and they're Death's Head Moths. I like Death's Head Moths a lot. Next, this is kind of something that I'm, I I bought on a whim. So we'll see about this one. This is from Creepsville 666. Um, and again, this is, none of this is like, PR mail or anything like this. This is all stuff that I bought, I paid money for. Um, so this is something that I was, cause I was looking in my closet and I realized I did not have a whole lot of summery dresses, like short sleeve or no sleeve dresses. Um, oh, there's a little coupon code in this one. And Creepsville is, I've known about the brand for a long time. I had long, long ago in a personality far, far away, I had a necklace that I loved from Creepsville. It was, and I can't find a picture of it anywhere online because it's been like well over a decade, but it was a heart 
a, like a zombie, like a broken heart with zombie birds on either side of it. I really liked it. It was a total statement necklace, um, but it's long gone. So anyway, I was looking on the website and I found this dress, which I actually bought in a size up because I assumed they were just gonna run small. And I think I might be smart with that decision uh, because this looks extremely short, but it's a skeleton dress and I love skeleton dresses. Like I have, I have one uh, that's long sleeve that I got from Unique Vintage a few years ago. So this is super cute. I like this a lot. This would have been really good for the Dolls Gone Goth uh, skeletons from a couple months ago. And even I think last month was Sugar Skulls, but I, did, I am like majorly digressing. And the final thing, the giant box from Target. Uh, Target had a really awesome toy sale a couple weeks ago. And I picked up four new dolls, I think, four new dolls. And the first one is actually, I believe, the first of the Rainbow High Series 3. Uh, and it's Daria Roseland. And she's really cute. I like her a lot. Um, I like the fact that she's, you know, Hank. Uh, I don't like the fact that she's got blue eyes. But anyway, I'll, I'll do this. I will go over this in another video when I, you know, go through this. But I got Daria here. I think she was like $14 which that's a great price. And then, and then I saw that they had the Mermaid High dolls for like $5, which what? So we, I had the one and I picked up uh, Oceana. Blair, there we go, no Blair. And Sierra, there we go, no Blair. Ooh. I have Mari already, and then Finley. So I'm I'm interested to see uh, what they're like out of the boxes. I did really like uh, the the one that I have, Mari. Uh, I think she's it's one of the nicest Playline dolls in a long time. Um, I think it was a nice, simple, basic doll with great articulation. So we'll see. We'll see what I feel about the other ones. I will probably do that in another video. What is, oh, this is just a doll that, there we go. Wow, I have so much crap on the bed. It's so, it's so great. But anyway, friends, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I have more stuff somewhere. I don't know when it'll get here, um, but I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, if I say that, I'll do, whatever. I'm trying to not spend as much money as I have been. Um, so we'll see how that works out. But anyway, friends, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me, you're in luck. And I've got like 400 something. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm coming up on my like six year YouTube anniversary, which what? Anyway, everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later.